On the second Sunday in Advent, we light the candle of love. Thank you, Lord, for loving us so much that you sent your son Jesus to be our saviour. Amen. Love. It's a word that, we get, that gets used so very often, isn't it? We hear it time and time again in songs and we read about it in novels. But do we ever give any thought to its meaning? There are many forms of love. We might say, I love my cat or dog. I love playing football. I love watching TV and I love having a sleep in. Yet, when we say, I love you, to your husband, your wife, your partner or your child, then that is a different, stronger love. Love comes in many guises. Sometimes it's all fluffy and warm and floaty and enjoyable. It's a bit like a permanent hug. Many occasions come through love. Weddings, reunions, and of course children. But love can also bring with it sadness, worry, concern, and heartache. Some people have great difficulty in openly declaring their love. There's just something about those three little words, I love you that are not always forthcoming and yet they may show their love by their actions. Many years ago, a senior lady said to me, he never says it, but I know that he must do because he puts my nighty to warm around the hot water tank so that it's warm for me when I get into it at bedtime. Love also brings with it lots of responsibilities and yet it's something that we all crave. It's something that we all need. It's inside each one of us and it is the greatest gift that we can possibly give. Love is the main characteristic of God. It is his gift to each one of us through his son, Jesus. He wants us to love one another, to love our neighbours, to love our family and our friends, and dare I say it, even our enemies. Yes, I know, that's a biggie, isn't it? When you love someone, you'll do anything for them. You just want to have that special relationship with them, and you want them to reciprocate Love, it's a force of nature, it pulls you to that special person. It's wanting all that is good and right for the one that you love. Being prepared to put self last so that they can be first. It also means being prepared to carry their burdens and if necessary, even sacrificing your own needs for theirs. Love demands endless patience, kindness, and being able to see the goodness in them rather than their faults. It's always been truthful and honest with them, trusting them and believing in them. Love isn't something sloppy, it's something strong and beautiful. It's all those things that St. Paul writes about in his letter to the people in Corinth. God feels all those things for each one of us and we are all very precious to him, even though we may not always feel that way about him. When we're going through rough times, he is there. We just need to reach out to him. Don't throw his love away. Accept it with all your heart. It can be and will make a 
big difference in your life. May the love of God come to you this Christmas in a special way. As the Christmas carol says, love came down at Christmas. I pray that each one of us will find love and give love this Christmas. So when you think, what can I give this Christmas? Love is the answer. Amen.